They traveled around 950 miles on this journey. They retraced the northern route. This is about remembrance. This is about remembering our ancestors, those that made it all the way and those that we lost. It's different when you train to do something. Folks, it's hard to get a team to stay together for only 30 miles, let alone over 950 miles together, traveling, feeling the emotion, feeling the hardship. They all understood that their ancestors were with them. Every RTR group before us will tell you that it's hard to explain what happened on the road. There's a feeling you get just visiting the places that you knew your ancestors had been that's pretty indescribable. Knowing that you're walking in the footsteps of family members you've never even met is just really unique. And the five of us have gone through something together that we're going to remember for the rest of our lives. It's an awesome experience and there's nothing that will ever uh, connect you to your heritage or your ancestors than almost being right there where they were at those preserved trails and everything. It was just an awesome experience. Before we left, we were all asked in an interview how we thought the ride would change us as a person. And at the time, we were pretty clueless. We all have our individual answers, but as a group, I think our biggest takeaway is just going to be what it means to be Cherokee. And throughout the ride, we've learned so much just about how resilient our ancestors were and how strong they were and that that blood is in us too. I definitely grew as a person and being able to do something that is very intense and challenging on your body and your mind was just um, awesome and I grew as a person so much.